Welcome back to the channel everyone. I'm going to be going over today some upgrades I've made on the kayak. This setup has really improved my time out on the water, my efficiency, just the overall fun I have fishing in the kayak. So I hope you guys like it. be covering the steering system. All of the equipment I use, I'll try to link in, in the description. If you have any questions about how I rigged up anything, leave it in the comments. If you have any ideas that'll improve the setup of my kayak that, that you've done, leave it in the comments. Also remember, give this video a thumbs up, please. Like and subscribe. I need your support. I wanna grow this channel. Um, so anyways guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn uh, something new and uh, hope you guys like it. The steering and the pulley system kind of go hand in hand. If you're going to do this pulley system I had and the steering system I had, you need to make sure that you watch both videos because they go hand in hand. For the steering system, I bought this on Amazon. It's an aluminum steering system for kayaks. For exclusively to fit around this trolling motor shaft. This just screws on, comes with these nuts and bolts. It's really easy to get on, fits perfect. So the way I rig this up is I have these. These carabiners never come off my kayak, even when I rig it on top of the van. These never come off. I'll show you why. When I'm done, I just, I, I clip them together. I clip this one and this one together and I tighten the front so that there's not, they're not flopping around all over the place, which work, it, it worked for me the times I've taken it out. So this clips on this one. Let's see if I can do it with one hand there. And then this one clips on right there. Okay, so those are clipped on. The way I have this done, these were already on my kayak. There's a hole right through that piece. These used to hold the bungees, which I took off a while ago. I didn't need the bungee. It just got in the way of my crate. So I run it through this one. Underneath the motor mount, I run it through that one. And then through this one. Through this again, with, with along with the pulley. But this one actually goes all the way here. And on the Lifetime Yukon, you got this piece that comes with the kayak. This it, this piece holds the seat. It actually has these holes in it. I just run this rope right through that hole. You can just see it. It's just an easy place. I didn't have to drill anything extra. This end is tied to this cam jam, this night eyes cam jam. This thing's awesome. Same thing on the other side. That cable runs there under the PWM box and through the same thing and it meets on the other side. The key feature of the steering system is this, is this right here. It doesn't work without this along with the pulley to get the motor out of the water. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. This goes into the, the hole of the cam jam. Okay, there it is. So it's through that hole and then this tightener right here you just pull it tight and it locks in see it's locked in there see how loose that is you want it this loose if you're gonna raise the motor up I'll show you why if I have it tight let me tighten it for a second if I have this thing this tight which is how tight you need it when you're steering so if I pull this way you can see it's going to turn me to the right if i pull the other way it's going to turn me to the left right left right left it's really easy when you're in a spot that's super shallow and you want to lift that trolling motor out of the water you cannot do it with this tight because 
if that's tight these are super taut when i go to pull the motor up these two steering cables are going to prevent the motor from moving up they're going to like hold it down so it's not going to be able to come up that's why this cam jam is very important because when i want to lift that motor up all i do is is loosen this piece loosen 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 set it down see how loose that is it's not in anyone's way then i take the pulley and i can pull it up as far as i want and it locks right in place and then when i'm done i lower it back down All right. that's how the, the steering works i love this this steering system because i don't i didn't need to drill into the foot pedals or mess with the foot pedals or do any drilling into the kayak or complicated stuff this is super easy it's super simple but it's been super super effective it's it's been really nice to just steer with one hand sometimes i steer with one hand and hold my rod in the other hand or eat a sandwich or drink whatever this steering system's been awesome though again guys if you have any comments on things that you would do differently um new ideas i could i could add on or adjust um, to make my rig a little better please let me know in the comments i know a lot of y'all have good ideas if you like the video subscribe to the channel stay safe out there guys thanks again for watching and always tight lines keep fishing